Hello art people. I've got out some supplies here today that I'm going to need to make a tree with. I've got some real leaves, which we're going to do some tree rubbings, and I've got some oil pastels. Crayons will also work really well for this project. So check it out. I'm gonna take my leaves, just scoot them over here for a moment. I'm gonna use these as actual leaves on my tree. But first I need to make my tree. So, one quick and easy way I like to make my tree, and if you want to do this in pencil first, you definitely can. I'm just going to go jump right ahead in with my oil pastel, and I'm going to make a trunk. Okay, their lines are slightly curved in. They're not really super parentheses, right? They're just slightly curved in. And then I'm going to make a letter Y at the very, very top. So let's go ahead and color in that letter Y. It resembles a little letter Y, slightly, right? I'm just gonna color that in. And then at the top of this part of the letter Y, I'm going to make a letter V. Same thing over here. I'm gonna make a letter V that's connected. Then, on this little part of the letter V, another letter V, you guessed it, over here, I'm gonna make this one a Y. So it's a little different. This one will be a V, this one will be a Y. Notice how they're getting thinner and thinner and thinner every time I add to it. This is what I call the Y trick. Then I can add a couple branches here and there to fill in some space. Maybe make another branch coming out of here so it's not perfectly symmetrical. Symmetrical is the same on both sides. We don't want it to be perfectly symmetrical. We want it to be a little bit different. And we have a quick and easy tree right there. If you want to take a slightly lighter color, on one side, I've got a peach color here. I'm gonna just go over this to blend my tones in, which you can do or not. Sometimes if you're using oil pastel, you see how there's a bunch of white in between the colors? I'm trying to smooth those white areas out. But you can skip this step if you don't have an oil pastel or if, you just, if it came out great to begin with. Mine was just a little bit, a little bit chunky, so I smoothed it out. See it there, a little bit smoother? Okay, now here's the fun part. I'm going to take a leaf, I get some small ones. Now notice the size of my hand. This is not a gigantic leaf. Big ones don't work as good as little ones for this. And what we're gonna do, this is generally the front of the leaf. I wanna use the back of the leaf where the veins are. If you can feel your leaf, you're going to feel that one side is more bumpy than the other, we want the bumpy side facing upward. So I'm gonna take my leaf and put it underneath my picture. I can feel it, it's right around here. Then I'm going to take my, char my pencil or, sorry, no, crepa, excuse me, I know it's early, crepa or oil pastel or crayon, and I want it to be peeled because I'm using the side. I'm not using the tip to color with. Don't do that. I'm using the edge and I'm going to go ahead and get my shape of my leaf. And I can go right over my tree. And I'm just going once or twice. See the shape of that leaf coming out? Pretty cool. Maybe I'll throw a little yellow on top of it. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm gonna move it. My leaf is gonna be right around this area. So I'm gonna move it right here. I'll go over it. Notice I'm using fall colors because it's fall but you don't have to use fall colors if it's not fall you would if it makes sense but you can make a spring tree like this too i'm going to aim for this area now one thing is especially with my yellow i can get some of this brown onto my yellow so i'm going to be careful to just stay inside the white areas to the best of my ability throw in a little red mix it up Throw in a little orange, mix it up. And we're using a real leaf to make our tree. Do this as many times as you need to, to make it look like your tree is full. You definitely wanna leave some area untouched, maybe in this area right here. Maybe one more. I'm gonna aim for this area right here. So put it here, a little bit of yellow. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so now that we've got our leaves done, 
Check that out. That's so cool. You can see all those veins showing through. This is creating a really cool pattern. Now we can put something down here. So if you wanted to make some leaves that had fallen to the ground, you could do that. I'm just gonna throw a bunch of leaves under there. I can use the same leaf over and over again, but just for the sake of time, I'm gonna throw in some orange, some yellow, some red. And now I've got a ground that it's on. Pretty cool. Now it's time for you to add some extras. What thing would you see in nature surrounding this tree? Perhaps you would see a tire swing hanging from it in someone's yard, which you could draw. Perhaps you would see a fence in the background, some birds in the trees. I am going to leave it up to you. I want you to give me at least two surprises that I haven't drawn here and add it to your picture. That is your art challenge for the day. So go outside, get some fresh air, get yourself some leaves, make sure the veiny side is up, put it under your paper, and do a rubbing to create your own unique fall tree. I'd love to see what you did. Have fun with it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.